Hello friends, welcome back to Sony Craft. This is Pooja. So today again, uh, uh, we are making a beautiful uh, nameplate using the decoupage and stenciling techniques. So what I have done here is I've just taken an oval MDF uh, plank, and you know I primed the pam. Uh, sorry, <coughs> I primed the plank with the uh, gesso. Uh, so I did a two layer of uh, gesso on it so uh, I wanted a very smooth surface to work upon so I wanted and then uh, you know I have taken uh, the desired uh, decoupage tissues and and did a fuzz fuzzy cutting with the decoupage paper and uh, decoupage tissue and kind of arrange them the way I want it so um, some of them are uh, uh, tissue and some of uh, are decoupage papers also but they both are from iCraft so as you can see in the video that I have arranged the flowers the way I wanted them to appear on my uh, nameplate so once I'm satisfied with the layout I will start using the decoupage glue and will start sticking the uh, decoupage paper on the nameplate. Now you can see that I am using the decoupage glue and you know uh, spreading the glue with the plain uh, flat brush on the surface and uh, sticking the decoupage tissues and uh, paper on the, the you know decided layout. Just make sure that if you are using a tissue please remove the three uh, plies the blank white plies from the tissue before restricting sticking them to the uh, base so what I'm doing here to get rid of the bubbles I'm just taking another uh, flat brush a dry brush and I am just moving my brush from center towards the side of the motifs so that uh, you know uh, no air bubbles also uh, will appear and here I'm also using a, a blank uh, polythene you all know that you know I use this uh, a lot the polythene especially with the tissues when I'm working so you know it's really help us in removing the air bubbles uh, any I'm just uh, using the decoupage and arranging the uh, motifs here and uh, then we'll do the next process all the motifs are stick to the base uh, properly and I'll just make them dry or you can leave them uh, for air dry and once they are dry completely I am using a sandpaper to trim the sides off this is the best way to trim the sides off of any of, any of your uh, decoupage uh, work and uh, you know uh, this gives a very good finishing on the corners of the uh, your uh, artwork one uh, more thing once everything is uh, stick to the uh, base uh, I'm just putting a uh, one more uh, top coat of uh, decoupage glue over the tissue and paper so that it can you know we can seal the design now here I'm just highlighting the uh, you know uh, design of the tissue with the acrylic paint so uh, what I have done here is that I've taken a similar acry acrylic paint uh, like for the purple color I mixed my uh, pink and blue and uh, you know mixed a lot of water in that so that it gives a watercolor effect at the uh, sides because I never like the sides which are you know very uh, different or you know which shows the separation from the base so I'm just using my acrylic color highlighting the uh, design uh, to give it a more life and uh, you know make them more bright and even I didn't like the leaves of the some leaves of the design so what I am doing that I will just use the acrylic color and I'll paint the leaves on my own hair and uh, then uh, um, to complement this design I use the uh, lightest yellow color or the cream color <laughs>
that I generally do for my nameplates is I get uh, when I get my uh, nameplate base cut at the very same time I uh, time I cut the alphabets also or you can say the names cut into the MDF or acrylic based on the design uh, in the some uh, nice beautiful font and then I stick them so here I have taken a Sushant's name I mean this is MDF cut out and I'm just painting it blue because I have uh, certain design which so I know that the blue color will complement the design I'm just uh, painting it very nicely from all the corners back front sides so that this complete the this name completely covers into a blue chalk paint and then I'll be stucking this uh, na uh, name on the nameplate and I will be stucking the name uh, slightly above not exactly in the center because I will be adding a flat number also in a some smaller font at the below the name okay so for finishing this step is really crucial uh, I want a, a blue border around my uh, base and I want that very you know more sharp edge uh, border so to achieve that a very clean uh, border I am using a masking tape here so I'm just starting uh, you know pasting uh, uh, applying a masking tape around the base leaving a half an inch uh, space on the sides and once this masking tape is completely done I'll just paint the corners uh, sorry uh, the sides of the base in the blue color and then we'll remove the uh, masking tape and we will be having a sharp edge border to this nameplate and this is how the nameplate will be completed I hope you guys will enjoy the last reveal a final reveal of this nameplate and this this nameplate is seriously come out so well I will be posting a final uh, look of this nameplate uh, with a hanged on the uh, door or house uh, to whom I had made this on my Instagram uh, Instagram page soon so don't forget to follow me on Instagram at somicraft love you guys and see you in other video thank you